Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree 83 of the year 2020 restructuring the Board of Directors of the Labour Market Regulatory Authority under the chairmanship of the Labour and Social Development Minister. The decree stipulates that LMRA Board of Directors includes Muhammad Ali Muhammad Al Qaid, Maha Abdul Hamid Mufiz, Abdul Rahman Saleh Al Sinan, Ahmed Jafar Al Haiki, Muhammad Abdul Jabbar Al Kohiji, Ahmed Abdullah bin Hindi Al Manai. Jafar Khalil Ibrahim and Basim Ali Siadi as members for a four-year term. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fawzi Zainal, shared the Council's 10th weekly session. The Council presented the messages received from His Royal Highness the Prime Minister regarding a draft law replacing a paragraph in the labour law and the private sector, a draft law adding a new clause to the social insurance law and a draft law approving the accession of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the Nagoya Protocol on Access to Genetic Resources. The Council approved the referral of messages and proposals to the relevant committees. As for Parliamentary questions. The Council reviewed the response of the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments to the question on monetary and non-monetary secretariats at the Ministry. The Minister of Labour and Social Development answered two questions concerning the announcement of vacancies at local papers and about the number of job seekers registered at the Ministry. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid al Naimi, announced that the Kingdom of Bahrain has made an unprecedented educational achievement in the results of the Trends in International Mathematics and Science Study, TIMS. 2019, which were announced today by the International Association for the Evaluation of Educational Achievements, the IEA, based in Amsterdam. Many countries have participated in the test, and the performance of students in the kingdom has risen from low to average to average to high, according to international standards in light of the higher performance of students in math and science compared to earlier editions. And Naomi said that the kingdom's results in these tests, were are, or which are held once every four years, for fourth and eighth grades reflect the kingdom's educational development under the patronage of His Majesty the King. And Naomi highlighted that the level of educational development of countries is measured by these tests. The Minister of Oil, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, inaugurated the Middle East and North Africa Bottom of the Barrel and a Catalyst Technology Conference held remotely from the 8th to the 10th of December. More than 300 chief executives of oil companies, a number of employees from regional and international oil companies, experts, engineers and specialists in oil industries around the world participated in the event, which is organized by Euro Petroleum Consultants and BOPCO in cooperation with the National Oil and Gas Authority and with the support of a number of international and Gulf oil companies. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 1,553 with 185 recoveries, 181 registered new cases and two deaths. 81 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 92 are contacts of active cases and 8 are travel related. The deceased were a 54 and 78 year old female citizens. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to adhere to the rules and avoid public spaces when possible. 